So recall that substitution involves replacing one atom or a group of atoms with another. Um, in this substitution reaction, the halogen atom on a halogenoalkane is replaced with an OH group, an alcohol. And this is done by reacting the halogenoalkane with a hydroxide ion. So let's draw the generic reaction. So I'm going to use R just to say some hydrocarbon group. And here's, you can see it's a halogenoalkane, so I've got a, a bromine attached. We're going to react it with hydroxide ion. And the result is going to be that our molecule swaps the bromine atom for the OH group. And the bromine atom becomes a bromide ion and uh, floats off into solution. Now the reason this reaction occurs has to do with the polarity of the carbon-halogen bond. So uh, if I draw out a simple, very simple uh, halogen alkane, we've got bromomethane, then you know that the halogens being over on the right hand side of the periodic table are quite electronegative. So they tend to have a delta minus and the carbon has a delta plus, so this is a polar bond. And uh, this makes the carbon attractive to reactants that are known as nucleophiles. So in this case we're using OH and it's called a nucleophile. And a nucleophile is something that's attracted to positive charge. Now a nucleus has is positively charged, so this is why we call this a nucleophile. It's something that loves positive charge. It's attracted to positive charge. A nucleophile is something that has a lone pair of electrons um, and uh, possibly also a negative charge. So in this case the, the hydroxide group um, has a negative charge and the oxygen atom also has lone pairs on it. So the nucleophile is attracted to the slight positive charge on the carbon and it donates its electrons in order to make a bond with the carbon. At the same time, the electrons that are in the carbon-bromine bond, because the carbon can't sustain more than four bonds at a time, if it's making a new bond with the hydroxide, it must break its bond with the bromine. So the electrons that are in the bond with the bromine jump back onto the bromine. So the hydroxide is donating electrons to the carbon to make a new bond and the bromine is withdrawing electrons in order to break that bond. And the resulting molecule is then exactly like it was before but with the OH substituted for the bromine which has now become a bromide and is sort of floating off in solution. Now your text goes into a little more detail about this reaction involving mechanisms called SN1 and SN2. Um, overall then, the reaction here, the thing that you need to know is that a halogenoalkane can be turned into an alcohol. And that's the generic reaction right there.